Yes, hello. Hi, ma'am. This is Isaac calling from Disease Prevention Program. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. I'm calling to follow up and provide your COVID-19 test kit, 100% covered by Medicaid Part B. All I need to do is confirm some information before sending your COVID-19 kits on your mailing address. Did you receive any COVID-19 kits for the past 30 days? No, I didn't. I haven't received anything yet. So, today on 1st of April 2023, this call is being recorded for quality and training purposes. So, may I have your date of birth? February 2nd, 1967. Two mm. two is like to February to second nineteen sixty seven. That's right. Oh, that's great. So, what is your first name? Penny P E N N Y. Oh, is that like, uh, like the coin penny? Is, like a penny? It is like P. E N uh, P E N N Y. Is that correct? That's correct. Penny. Any last name? Bailey. B A I L E Y. How long you Got it. And, uh, let me give me your date of birth. Uh, February second of nineteen sixty-seven. That's correct. 67, right? Yes, 1967. Okay, perfect. So, uh, what's your date of birth? Uh, sorry, what's your uh, zip code? I'm sitting on a floor and there are uh, people in the background also working. So. Yeah, it's uh, hard for me to hear you and hard for you to hear me. Um, Five seven of Florida. That's correct. Uh, That's correct. Yeah, Miss Down. Okay, so now you agree today that I am speaking with Miss Penny Bailey on the 1st of April 2023 to have this call recorded and allow our network of labs to follow up by phone, email, and text to confirm receipt of eight free test kits. Uh, please state your full name one last time if you agree. Uh, my name is Penny Bailey, and I already did this once before. Okay. When did you receive the COVID-19 kits lately? I haven't. I haven't received any kits yet. Oh, you haven't? All right. That's what we are going to do, Miss. So, Miss, now you agree to be auto-enrolled. Uh, so, uh, you agree to be auto-enrolled and receive eight free David COVID tests sent monthly, covered by Medicare Part B for personal use only. Say yes if you agree, Miss. Well, do I have to get eight tests a month? I don't want to test myself twice a week. I don't test myself that often. I I totally understand that, uh, but uh, right at this present moment, these are free of cost, first thing. And second right. thing is, it's it's uh, like for an uh, emergency, like, uh, for example, if, uh, like, there is a scenario where you, uh, I may mean, God forbid, if you get into a situation where you think you are sick or you are getting exposed to COVID-19, then you can go ahead and check it in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to put yourself into a jeopardy by going outside and uh, requesting these COVID-19 kits or purchasing these uh, kit eight dollars a shot. All right. So, right, right, uh, right. But I mean, eight, a, eight, I mean, eight a month is a lot. That's excessive. I mean, I mean, next month it would turn to sixteen. The month after that, I mean, it's just going to build up and build up. Actually, that is the basic option that we are providing to our citizens. Actually, we are making sure, uh, actually, this is a non-profit organization, and we are making sure that every citizen who is uh, in the U.S., they are, uh, like, getting all of these kits, and uh, we are working nationwide, and uh, uh, with that being said, we are providing each and every one, uh, like, uh, these kits uh, without oh, so any you're, cost. You're a non-profit? Obviously. That's cool. That's very nice of you that you're a non-profit doing this. But, that's, I mean, I just don't want to be wasteful because I know that, you know, your money's probably very tight right now. Uh, and I just, I mean, I'm not going to use all these tests. I feel like somebody else should get a chance to use more of these tests. That's okay. Like, when you are going to get uh, receive these kits under your name, it depends on you. Either you actually, this is for your personal use only. 
because this is covered by Medicare Part B or Medicare Part B, but you can put it into a good use. You can use it by yourself. Maybe you can uh, use this kit for yourself, some of them, and some of them, if there are, like, uh, if you've got, like, some better out five or uh, three or two people in your household, you can, like, go ahead and test it on them so they can have an idea of what... Uh, is going on with your health. Actually, it is just to keep everyone healthy and hydrated. Right, that I understand a, that, but I don't think I'll idea. go through eight a month. I'm just not going to go through that many tests, and I want to get that many tests it's, right now. No, no, actually, it's not going to be... Actually, you're getting me wrong. You, uh, you're you not going to get eight every month. It's going to be a refill if you need any. If you need any. Oh, so it's Otherwise, not, it's it's not be, automatic. Yeah, well, I mean, still, eight's a lot of tests. It eight's a lot of tests. Um... I just don't it think I need many. That is till they get empathy. Uh, All right. Uh, so well, yeah, it's going to as as long as you uh, have them saved uh, in your store, or uh, as long as you don't use them, there will no be uh, there will not be any uh, COVID nineteen deaths. Actually, it, it's a re. First, you will be receiving a COVID-19 kit, okay, which is going to be a box, an eight uh, COVID kit, kits box. And uh, if you need any refill, then they, uh, the, when you'll be getting contacted, you let them know that you need a refill. And then they'll provide a refill. All right, and, well, I guess uh, go, go uh, ahead and send them then. Go ahead and send them. All right. Okay, so uh, now uh, by saying yes, you agree to receive these COVID-19 kits at your doorstep. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So... Perfect. Perfect. So, Miss, uh, fantastic. Now, you're all set. We are going to uh, provide these kits uh, within three days. And, uh, Miss Penny, just to dispatch you these COVID-19 kits at your doorstep, uh, do you currently have the access to your red, white, and blue Medicare health insurance card by any chance? Yeah, but why, do I, what, but why do I need that? You guys are a nonprofit. You guys are sending these out um, for your organization, right? Okay. Yes, yes, actually. Uh, you seems to be a sensible person. Actually, we are going to claim these COVID-19 kits as they don't, uh, the Medicare Part B actually, it, it is affiliated with the government and the government is providing them through the Medicare Part B coverage. So we want to make sure that you're not getting charged for any of these COVID-19 right, kits. Right, but I mean, if you're gonna, are, they, are you going to submit a claim through Medicare or are you, gonna, are you guys providing this as a no, non-profit? No, 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 no. It's, 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 going to be our, uh, it's going to be through our organization. Okay. All right. Medicare. Well, then you don't need so my medi- then you don't need my Medicare number if you're doing that through the uh, organization. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it is going to be uh, our company is affiliated with Medicare, right? It, it is actually a sub department of Medicare, all right? So, what's going to happen is we are going to claim these COVID-19 kits. So, when the Medicare is going to check out, or if any of the, any of the insurance carrier, in case of any need, they are going to charge and then they are going to see your document your file they'll have a knowledge of not charging you a single penny for these covid-19 kits well i don't want to okay. i don't want to make a claim through medicare if you guys are offering these through your nonprofit free of cost you shouldn't need my medicare yeah. information to run this all right here's the thing there are two ways the first is through medicare and the th- second is through nine digit social security number my I'm social ready, security are, number why would you need my yes. social security? You're a nonprofit organization. Why would you need my personal social security number to send me out eight COVID tests? It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Mel, uh, I, I already explained that we no, are No, you didn't. To claim you didn't explain why you need my social security number. That's private information. <laughs> that, is what I, that is what I told you, miss. They're going to claim it. So you don't get charged, but it's okay. You're not comfortable in providing these information. Well, okay, I I, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, try- I'm sorry. I'm trying to understand why would they make a claim on my Medicare if you are doing this for your nonprofit out of the goodness of your heart? Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me make it sense for you. So, ma'am, actually, as I mentioned earlier, again. This is a non-profit organization. We are affiliated with Medicare. Okay, what's your non-profit? What non-profit? What non- I'm sorry. Non-profit doesn't mean... Non-profit, I'm I'm really sorry to cut you off, but non-profit doesn't mean that we are going to... uh, We're not obligated to write out this information. I know what a non-profit is, sir. I ask you, what is your specific non-profit? What is your company's non... What is your non-profit organization? I know what a non-profit is. 
What's yours? What yeah, What is uh, your specific nonprofit? Ma'am, we are actually. Let me tell you. Some of some some of the time, like at some point of time, government they uh, like give a contract to some companies. All right, so they see which companies come in into the network. All right, and after looking at the uh, looking into the companies who are coming in the network, they are going to like assign that particular thing to those companies so they will be having a knowledge of who the customer is and uh, which customers have medicare part a and b or sorry specifically medicare part b and afterwards they are going to reach out to those people who already have medicare part b so they will be offering them if they want these covid 19 kits free of cost as everyone like uh i, I think 97 percent out of 100 percent people living over here they are applying for these covid 19 kits okay but sir, sir that's not, i'm sorry knowledge. i'm yeah, sorry to interrupt you but, I, but that's not the question i asked you i asked you what is your specific nonprofit company that's sending out these tests to me that way i could have a good idea of what i'm looking for when they come what do you mean when you ask me what is your nonprofit organization? You are said you, you said you you said you companies? are a non, you said you're a nonprofit organization sending these tests out. And what is your name? What's the name of your nonprofit organization? COVID nineteen disease prevention company, Miss. COVID. That's a nonprofit. <laughs> yes. COVID nineteen. Okay, I'm trying. This I'm trying. Was built. Okay. Yeah, this company was built under the name of COVID-19 disease prevention. Actually, so it is of a program specifically kind kind of a survey where we are sending the COVID-19 kits, which is affiliated through Medicare, which is 100% covered by them. So these, they, there is no cost, there is no charges, no delivery charges. So that's why we are claiming under the person's name. So, for example, if that particular person needs COVID-19 kits again, which people, mostly people are getting those kits and requesting them. So they will be having a patch through way where they will be having a knowledge that they will be getting the COVID-19 kits at their doorstep. Right, but you okay. said that, okay, earlier in the call, you said that your nonprofit was providing these. You didn't say anything about Medicare till towards the end. So that's why I'm confused. You said that your nonprofit was providing these free of charge. So, Ma'am, actually, that's, that's, that, that's what I'm do, going to do. Obviously, it does make sense. I'm calling you from my company. Yeah, I have told you, I have give, given you the reference of Medicare Part B in the end, Medicare in the end, right? So it does make sense that we are calling you from a nonprofit organization affiliated with the company. So we are working from them as as you're working for Medicare. Of, uh, sub, yeah, as it, it's again, it's kind of a sub department of Medicare, right? So, ma'am, it's okay if you're not interested in providing me the options. Um, uh, well, I, I just don't feel. I just don't understand why I have to give up my Medicare information. I thought that you were don't just. Non, I thought you were just a nonprofit sending me out the test. I didn't realize that Medicare was involved in this. Don't get oh, okay. Don't get. Uh, no, no, no need to sorry, Miss. You, you're clearing your concern. Obviously, everyone has a concern and duty to have to clear, right? So yeah. I totally understand that. It's okay. It's okay. It's very normal. So, uh, are you interested in providing me the information that I ask you, or should I let you go? Well, I'm sorry. I was recently a victim of identity okay. theft, and I don't feel like giving out my personal information because somebody got a hold of my social security number and tried to open up a credit card in my name. So forgive me. I'm very uh, paranoid I right now. I'm so. really, I'm really sorry to hear about that. Miss. Yeah, it's, it's okay. been, it's been hard getting through it. Either ways, through okay. Either ways, okay. Either ways, Miss. You will be getting the COVID-19 kits. So uh, till you ex. Uh, you, like till you receive these COVID-19 kits. Till then, you have a wonderful day yet. All right, Miss well, Penny. thank you for sending them really out. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye now. Wow, what a word salad! Did, did, did any of that what he said make sense? I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, um, that's the first time I've had these people say they were a nonprofit organization. Really, you're a nonprofit, and then it turns into Medicare. It's like, uh huh. No, 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 no. Um, if somebody calls you asking for in your my social security number, uh huh, no. 
Do not give your Social Security number or your Medicare number to anyone. They're not going to send you diddly squat. They're not going to give you anything. Keep that information to yourself and don't be a victim. Be safe, guys.